Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from Craft Test Dummies and as you can hear, I am still not 100% uh, from the Creativation Show, but I thought I would croak along and pop in today and just show you some of the goodies that came in my Ranger grab bag. Um, so most of those videos are up. Um, I have the Diane Reevely videos up. I think there's one of those. I have two Dina Wakeleys and two Tim Holtz. The only ones that I'm not, I don't have up yet is the Susan Leonard Kasmer ones. So <clears throat> if you haven't had a chance to see those videos, I recommend you go and check those out on YouTube um, because of course they do an amazing job of showing you all the new good stuff. So let's dig in to the little goodie bag. It came in a tote bag, which I have already kind of, I don't know, stuffed in another bag. Because when you come home, you put bags and bags and bags. So, forth. so some of the things that we got in our kit included the Dina Wakely Media watercolor paper. And um, it's called cotton watercolor paper. And I know she talked about it. I'm gonna rip it open right now. Because um, this is just a really unusual, finish of paper. So mostly, you know, your traditional cardstock is really stiff. This is actually really thin. It's more like a Japanese style. And I don't even know if you can see, but you can almost see like how it has a freckled effect to it. And that's because it has such a high cotton content. It's almost like cotton rag. It's also very, very soft. So I'm gonna have a good time testing this out to see how it actually works on, um, you know, like how it accepts stamps and paints and whatnot. So I will be testing that just because it's a kind of a new thing. Um, so another goodie that came in my bag is the Dilutions Washi Tapes. So this is a set of seven rolls. It has six yards and it has Diane's artwork on it. So it's really interesting to see how they've taken some of the artwork like out of the journals and then... It, uh, they, they reproduce it in rolls for this washi tape. And I'm just gonna pull a little bit out. Barbara says it's hard to see, but it almost looks like you can see a fabric weave. And there is exactly like a, a texture to that paper that I just showed you that um, feels more like linen than it does paper. So I just wanted to show you like the tape. Isn't that pretty? And you get, I think about six inches before it starts to repeat. And I like this one because it's hard to tell, but it's just a little bit of music note in it. Just a little bit of music note. So that will be fun for your journals and whatnots. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, Dilutions coloring sheets. <coughs> this is something I know that Diane has done. I'm gonna crack it open here. She's done these like coloring borders. So some of them includes her sentiments. So if you didn't want to invest in her stamps, you could almost just get some of these. Mostly I just sit around all day being fabulous. And then you could use these, color them in with whatever media you wanted and then cut them out and use them. So I actually really like this idea a lot. The coloring sheets, there are 24 sheets, 12, two each of 12 different designs. Because you know, sometimes I don't want to use, um, I don't want to use these stamps all the time. I just want to use them like for a couple projects and then move on. So this, um, I, this says, I will never be a well-behaved woman. I re relate to that. And also caution, mood swing in progress. So that just like, I want to make sure you knew that they were images and words in these coloring sheets. Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna pull. I threw some other things in the bag to get through TSA. So I'm gonna kind of go through those real quick. Um, boom, move it out of the way. So Inca says the tape is pretty and Sue says, hello, good morning, Sue. I also got some stencils. So I got this Dilutions small stencil with the triangles, which I think will be super duper handy for inks and sprays and doodling. And then Dina included this one, which is kind of an organic floral motif. Definitely less open idea. 
Mom says, I like that idea too. Yeah, right? The idea of just like, you could buy it and use it and then not have to invest in all of the stamps. Just to like a little smattering, especially like, I'm gonna be real honest. I love Diane and her sassiness. Some of her stamps are like so sassy that they almost feel like I could never use them because it feels like almost a little rude to me. Like I am so Midwestern. I just am so nice about those things. So I would use those like in a couple of places, um, <coughs> but I wouldn't use them over and over. Because I have like four friends who have that kind of snarky sense of humor who would get it and the rest of them would be like, that's just mean. Oh, I have a cat now. Okay, so two stencils. I'll be having fun with those. They also included some distressed tags. I'm not sure what makes those special than other tags, but I'll be trying those out. There's also some of the Dina, Ma Dina Media Journal Clips. And these look just like Bulldog Clips. <coughs> Excuse me. But they're see-through. So they're much more architectural than just a regular bulldog clip. So I think these would be really pretty in your journals or on tags or on little things or even just like around your studio, but they're pretty. And like I said, a little more refined, a little more architectural. So she mentioned these in the media breakfast and I'm so excited I got some, yay. Nadia says, I understand what you're saying about like those things, right? I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm just like, I was worried. I don't want to offend people. I mean, I still, I still care. I hate to say it. So these are some of the Creative Diary die cuts. These are items that came right out of her journal that they created into collage pieces. So we've got this one says attitude problem. I'm just gonna flip through a couple of them for you. So these are really bold. I swear to God, this looks kind of like um, Sia. So these are kind of fun. You could use those probably in a journal or even on a card. That's kind of a really powerful image right there. I like that. So it may not be for everybody, but it's kind of nice that they're here for those of us who like to just buy a focal. Um, here's another crazy idea. They're printed on really nice paper. You could also turn them backwards and then try your own version of the doodle on the backside if you wanted to stretch your creativity a little more. So we also have Dilusions Clips, a nice other little, you know, architectural element you could use just in your studio or you could use them in your journals. These are not magnet based, but I'm gonna tell you what, if I were me, which theoretically I am, I would totally put a magnet on the back of those and then put these up on my fridge or on my um, cabinet to hold other things because they're really, really cute. So yeah, Dilusions Creative Diary Clips. And then we also have some collage words from Dina and these are printed tissue. So I'm gonna open this up so we can see how translucent or transparent it may be. This is really nice. So this really is tissue paper. So this would be great for collaging with Collage Medium or Mod Podge, or if you like to do those um, tissue, like printed napkin techniques, you could absolutely incorporate this, just one or all of them. Also, if you like to collage onto um, candles, that candle collage technique I've shown you, you could put this right on a candle and make this part of your altar or part of your home decor. Because once you collage the tissue paper on, it goes translucent. And of course, if you work in resin, this would go completely clear, which is really compelling, awesome. Oh, Vicki, as Craft just said, it also works great in resin, exactly. See, great minds thinking alike. These go completely clear, so you could put these um, into altered book pages or things like that. And it looks like there are two each of 10 designs. So those are awesome. I'm gonna keep those up special, because then I'm gonna use them. So speaking of washi tape, this is Dina's washi tape, which she also mentioned in her um, presentation to us. 
And some of those are like, here's some little faces. And here's just some like texture. And then here is some words. Look at this. I'm just gonna show you. I don't know if it's in focus. My spirit alive. Oh, make my voice strong and my spirit of it says, Oh, make my voice strong and my spirit alive, which is a great little saying. Again, talk about positive affirmations or great for your altar. Um, I also really love these little hearts, these little collage hearts and washi tape. Those will be a great border in all kinds of things. Hello, cat. You want to come back up? My cat gets upset because I'm not giving her enough attention, but she doesn't understand. It's not all about her. Okay. So we also got a new color of Wendy Vecchi ink in Thistle Archival Ink. Come on up. Okay. All right. She's here. And a new Distress Oxide in Mermaid Lagoon. <clears throat> I happen to love this color, and I'm really glad that it's out in an oxide now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we got Embossing Tinsel. Um, embossing powder tin aqua tinsel, which is, oh my gosh, like the perfect color for my studio, right? And then we got a little baggie that has some other, oh, I'm so happy about this. So I got some distress resist spray. If you didn't get a chance to see this on his demo that he did for us, please go look at it. So this is basically like it's a resist spray, but it also can be used for embossing. So this is kind of a great product. Um, Wendy Vecchi Perfect Card Adhesive. I did not even see a demo on this. I'm sure somebody else has it, but I didn't get it. So I will be testing that out. I got a Dilutions Shimmer Spray. And you know me, I'm all about the shimmer. I love the dilution sprays because they are so like intense. But then I always throw a shimmer on top of it. So now she's knocking over all those papers. So in addition to the shimmer spray, we got some crazy stickles, some kind of crazy like whoop whoop color. It'd be great for our purple color challenge for the one little tag craft challenge. We also cat got a taffy liquid pearls, also great for the purple challenge. And then lastly in the very bottom is the gunmetal mixative. So I have been working a lot more in my alcohol inks lately and um, I can't wait to get all of the new mixatives, including the rose gold. I love, love, love alcohol inks. And I have a video on YouTube on how to use your alcohol inks on acetates so that um, they don't scratch off like your cards or your projects. And of course, those mixatives are amazing. Yes, this is, that's cocoa. I am going, yeah. Now she's trying to steal a die off my desk. I'm telling you, I can't, I can't have a thing. With this cat. Um, so anyways, that's the, the goodies that we got from Ranger. But I, if any of those products really, really, really pique your attention, what I need from you guys is for you to leave comments in the comment section telling me which of these products really are capturing your attention and that you want to know more about. Because as I start to prioritize reviews, um, and I reach out to Ranger for more review product, um, I wanna make sure that I'm going in the priority for you. What are you interested in? If you tell me, I'll bump those things up to the top of the list. Of course, I've got lots of products to review, lots of things to talk about, and so I wanna make sure I get to like the juicy stuff first, if that makes sense. But again, thank you all for being here. I appreciate um, you guys tuning into the live. I'll be editing this for YouTube. And stay tuned for more live from Creativation videos because I took 40 videos over two days and I will probably put up another five more today. So I'm gonna go have some tea and go sit at my laptop and get more videos out for you guys. But don't forget, put comments down about the things that you're interested in me reviewing first. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching and you know what comes next. Have a crafty day. Bye.